Well, good morning, everyone. Hello, friends. We're so happy to be with you once again as we relax into our Wednesday. So now, look, friends, as we gather wherever we are, let us get warm by the fire. And I'm going to light our candle as we represent the, the light of Christ into this space. And as we light it, I will also pray. Let us pray. God, we give you thanks for the gift of this day, and we give you thanks for the ways that you continue to use us for your glory, and how we can continue to connect with each other, to grow in our faith individually, but also collectively. So we pray that you bless this time that we have together. In your name we pray. Amen. So Jeremy, I'm curious what some of your favorite memories of fall are growing up. Ooh, well, of course, if you know me, you know that I love fall because it is simply football season, so I love football, love football in that. But other fall festive activities that I like to embark on, definitely hitting that pumpkin patch, finding the, the perfect pumpkin uh, to carve later on in the month. Um, I've also done apple picking with, with the wife, uh, so that has been fun. What about you? Any family fun things you guys do in the fall? We do love the corn mazes. Mm. Um, that's one of Wesley's favorite because he tells us what way to go. I love it. Um, growing up, one of the things that we would always do in the fall is uh, we would have football, and it wasn't just Sunday afternoon football. I'd have football practice Monday through Thursday for nope. Pee Wee. That's how it is in Ohio. It's every night of the week. And then on Friday night, we'd have to go to the high school football game and watch high school football. Everyone have their jerseys on Friday oh, night. Yeah, that's right. everybody. Even the Pee Wee kids are wearing their jerseys on Friday. Did you guys run on the field too sometimes? Only one game a year. I got you. And then yeah, on we Labor Day week, and we got to play on the high school field. Oh, okay. That was like the big field. Yeah, they always it's at, it's at 10,000 there. <laughs> Oh wow, well that's a lot, that's a lot a more field. than a lot more than here. But we always do the uh, the All Star game at one of the high schools. You know, one of the things that I think a lot of people get really nostalgic for during this uh, fall season is what we've been doing is talking about different kinds of treats that we enjoy eating. That is great. But today we brought a different kind of treat, um, and it's not one that's exactly nostalgic, but it does create in us a sense of nostalgia. Let's see what we got going on in here today. Little, little Debbie Pumpkin Delights ice cream. So I, ha I have some in my cup here, and Carl has some of his in his fall cup. I'm going to turn it into an affogato later. It's when you pour coffee over ice cream. Mm, it's a cold and creamy twist on a classic treat. That's why Pumpkin Delights Did you ever have one of the Pumpkin cream. Delights, Jeremy? I have not. I have oh my not. gosh, they're so good. Mm, well, they're so good. Here's Let's, just we're going to try it. Cheers. Mmm. Mm. Hallelujah. You get a taste of everything. You get a little bit of that cinnamon, a little bit of that pumpkin, a little bit of that creaminess. Do I taste nutmeg? Nutmeg? No. no, Carl, you are correct. I taste a little nutmeg in there. This, I'll be honest, this tastes almost like um, eggnog. So mm. It almost tastes like eggnog. It's because it's getting to that season, too. Little Debbie knows what's up. Yeah, Little Debbie's pointing us in the direction of what, what way we are to go. Mm. You know, this is a new take on nostalgia. Because for a lot of people, this... Uh, these pumpkin delights, they are a special treat that only comes around in the fall. And they get excited for it. That's right, as They're they should like, be. I am so be. ready for this time of year. We've seen a lot with Little Debbie that they're trying to innovate mm -hmm. recently. They're That's trying right. to do something new and put a lot of their different stuff into these ice creams. That's right, whether that be new flavors, new twists. Like this is a twist on a classic treat, but it is still delightful in the pumpkin way. Um, but we are reminded that though we can be, re we can enjoy the things that come often, uh, Christ, Christ and God still calls us to grow uh, continually in our faith, whether that be working on ourselves individually or even uh, working and uh, holding each other accountable in each other's faith as well. Yeah. Um, there's one story in the Old Testament as the Israelites break ground and start building the new temple. The first temple has been ripped down by Babylon. They start building the new temple, and the people who had seen the old temple wailed because the new temple just wasn't quite the same. They wailed for what was, even as they bravely enter into this new covenant to start building this new temple to do a new thing. Our question for us today is, I mean, sometimes doing a new thing feels huge and difficult and scary. Sometimes it's delightful like eating some ice cream. That's right. 
What kind of new things is God calling you into today, even in the midst of a time when we celebrate kind of nostalgic moments? Right. How can we acknowledge that or build awareness of what God could possibly be bringing anew within us or within those around us and how we can live into that? Friends, thank you for being with us today. Let's pray. God, we give you thanks for the way that you help us to remember the good times. We ask that you would help us to remember those good times as we seek to live into the kingdom that you're calling us into today. We ask these things in the name of Jesus Christ, our Savior. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Mm. So good. Mm.